Hello friends and welcome to this video. We are with the 16th topic from the chapter 5. Chapter is titled Linear Prediction and Optimum Linear Filters to Learn Advanced Digital Signal Processing. So in this chapter after learning the representation of the stationary random process, further the rational power spectra, relationships between the filter parameters and the most important statistical metric that it was autocorrelation sequence we have learned the very important two types of the linear predictions forward and the backward here then the optimumness with respect to the reflection coefficients also we have understood the corresponding relationship we have seen the understanding of levinson durbin algorithm and the Scher algorithm we have done for determining the solution of normal equations and now the very important part that it was the Wiener filter designing. So in the previous video we are covered with the FIR Wiener filter and also address orthogonality principle in the linear mean square estimation. So in continuation to it and in order to conclude this particular chapter the major part that it was remained and here I am going to address it that it is IIR Wiener filter. So let us begin to see what are the details of IIR Wiener filter. Those are different as compared to the earlier FIR Wiener filter. So let us start with the topic. So here we can start with our topic titled IIR Wiener filter. So as just now in the current chapter we are covered with the constant of the filter to be the FIR, the finite impulse response and we have therefore obtained a set of M linear equations for the optimum filter coefficients for the FIR case. So here we are now going to allow the filter to be of the infinite in duration what we can regard to be IIR filter and the corresponding data sequence to be infinite as well here. So when we talk about the filter output to be expressed by the mathematical expression here, the corresponding equation denoting y of n to be the filter output will be having the form y of n is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity carried on for the product of h of k with x of n minus k. Here the filter coefficients are selected in order to have minimization of the statistical metric that it is mean square error that is between the desired output we have been denoting it by d of n and the filter output that we have just now denoted in this expression by y of n. So this minimization of the mean square error can be denoted by this Greek symbol to the suffix we have denoted infinity as this is for the case of IIR that means infinite impulse response filter type here. So here it is equal to the expected value of capital E of mod square of E of n here. This we can also express to the full form where we have it expressed capital E of mod square of inside the mod we have written D of n minus the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity or h of k multiplied to x of n minus k. Now making the application of orthogonality principle will lead to the wiener hopf equation which can be given as here we write the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity or h of k multiplied to the autocorrelation representation gamma suffix xx of l minus k equal to the cross correlation gamma suffix dx of l where L is greater than or equal to 0. So here the residual MMSE, the minimized mean square error is simply obtained by application of the condition that we have seen in the preceding section here or the infinite impulse response winner filter here. So therefore for the current case we write MMSE in the suffix we write the infinite sign here we can also denote it as minimum of the representation of the Greek symbol for the same and that is equal to the variance denoted by sigma square in the suffix we have d minus the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity 
for the multiplication of we have h optimum of k in multiplication to the conjugate of gamma suffix dx of k now as the first equation on this slide you see that it is the wiener hopf equation see as this equation is holding true for the case l greater than or equal to 0 it is very obvious that it cannot be solved directly with the z transformation techniques so now solution for the optimum ir wiener filter based on the innovations representation of the stationary random process x of n will be the only option so let us recall here that the stationary random process that we denote by x of n having the autocorrelation representation and the power spectral density can have the representation as the equivalent innovation process through a noise whitening filter with the system function 1 upon capital g of z where capital g of z is the minimum phase part obtained from the spectral factorization of the power spectral density capital gamma suffix xx of z here so here we express capital gamma suffix xx of z is equal to the variance sigma suffix i sigma is squared here in multiplication to capital g of z further multiply to capital g of z inverse so therefore g of z is analytic into the region mod z greater than r1 where r1 is less than 1 so now for the current case of ir wiener filter the optimum wiener filter can be viewed as a cascade a cascade of the whitening filter that can be denoted by 1 upon capital g of z with the second filter let us denote it by capital q of z whose output that can be denoted by y of n is similar or directly you can say it is identical to the output of the optimum wiener filter so since we have the relation y of n is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity or q of k multiplied to i of n minus k where this i of n is the innovations process here and along with this we know that e of n error is the difference of d of n with y of n so the application of the orthogonality principle that just now we have seen in the previous video will yield the new wiener hopf equation so the new form of the wiener hopf equation can be denoted the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity for q of k multiplied to gamma suffix ii of l minus k that is equal to gamma suffix di of l here also we have l greater than or equal to 0 now as we know that i of n is white so therefore gamma suffix ii of l minus k will be equal to 0 unless the l is equal to k so therefore we obtain the solution to the form q of l that is equal to the ratio where numerator is gamma suffix di of l and the denominator is gamma suffix ii of 0 so this we can also express to the ratio gamma suffix di of l kept as it is in the numerator whereas the denominator is sigma suffix i sigma is squared so for l greater than or equal to 0 now the z transformation of the sequence q of l can be expressed to the form capital q of z we are always preparing capital q the capital notations for the transformed representations so capital q of z this is equal to the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity for q of k into z to the power minus k so this is what the z transformation formulation so when we solve it we get it to the form 1 upon sigma sub x i squared in multiplication to the summation k is equal to 0 to infinity for gamma sub x di of k into z to the power minus k now let us denote the z transformation of the two sided cross correlation sequence cross correlation sequence is denoted gamma sub x di of k in the rhs of the above equation here so here we have capital gamma sub x di of z that is equal to the summation k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity or small gamma sub x di of k into z to the power minus k we also define 
कैपिटल गैमा सफिक्स डी आई ऑफ जेड पॉजिटिव एज इक्वल टू दिसमेशन के इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी स्मॉल गैमा सफिक्स डी आई ऑफ के इन टू जेड टू दावर माइनस के सो देर फॉर कैपिटल क्यू ऑफ जेड विल बी इक्वल टू वन अपॉन सिग्मा सफिक्स आई सिग्मा स्क्वेर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू कैपिटल गैमा सफिक्स डी आई ऑफ जेड पॉजिटिव Now, in order to have determination of capital gamma sub x d i of z positive, let us have the beginning with the output of the noise whitening filter. So it can be expressed as i of n is equal to the summation k is equal to zero to infinity for multiplication of v of k with x of n minus k, where the v of k or k being greater than or equal to zero. which is the impulse response of the noise whitening filter we denote 1 upon capital g of z equivalent to capital v of z which can be expressed as the summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity for v of k multiplied to z to the power minus k so therefore gamma sub x di of k is equal to the expected value of d of n multiplied to the conjugate of i of n minus k so this is equal to the summation m is equal to 0 to infinity for small v of n multiplied to capital e of d of n into the conjugate of x of n minus m minus k so this is equal to the summation m is equal to 0 to infinity for v of m multiplied to gamma sub x dx of k plus m now the z transformation of the cross correlation gamma sub x di of k can be denoted as in the z transformation here we have the representation by the capital gamma sub x di as a function of z this is equal to the summation k is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity in operation to another we have the summation m is equal to 0 to infinity v of m gamma sub x dx of k plus m so this is in multiplication to z to the power minus k the formulation of z transformation so as we find solution by the next step we express it to the form first of all the summation m is equal to 0 to infinity or v of m multiplied to the summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity over gamma sub x dx of k plus m into z to the power minus k by the next step we express it to the form summation m is equal to 0 to infinity or v of m into z to the power m multiplied by the summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity or gamma sub x dx of k into z to the power minus k finally expressing it to the form capital v of z inverse so we have z to the power minus 1 In multiplication to capital gamma sub x dx of z here, so this is also the ratio here we write capital gamma sub x dx of z divided by capital G of z to the power minus one. So therefore, we express capital Q of z is equal to one upon sigma square. The sigma is having the suffix i. Multiplication to the ratio where we have capital gamma sub x dx of z. divided by capital g of z to the power minus 1 and this ratio is denoted with the positive sign so finally the optimum infinite impulse response wiener filter will have the system function denoted by capital h in the suffix we denote for optimumness opt and this is a function of z here a ratio of q of z with g of z expressing it 1 upon sigma sub x i squared into g of z multiplied to the square bracket that has the ratio capital gamma sub x dx of z divided by capital g of z to the power minus 1 the square bracket is having the positive sign in the representation as a sign. so in short we can have the solution for the optimum infinite impulse response wiener filter that require a spectral factorization of capital gamma sub x x x of z to obtain capital g of z the minimum phase component and then we will be solving for the causal part of capital gamma sub x dx of z divided by capital g of 
equals z to the power minus 1 as we have represented in the equation here. So, this was our topic IIR Wiener filter from the chapter Linear Prediction and Optimum Linear Filters. The next video will be a lecture on the last topic to understand the linear prediction and optimum linear filters. Then it will be a practice of three problems based on to the understanding we have made in the current chapter here. Thank you.